Putin goes to Tehran. Russian President Vladimir Putin has completed a uh, a trip to Tehran where he met with the leaders of Iran, uh, both the president, uh, Mr. Raisi, and the supreme leader, Ali Khamenei, as well as Turkish President Recep Erdogan, who flew in uh, to participate in what essentially is a continuation of what is known as the Astana process. That is a diplomatic forum that has been honchoed by Russia uh, for the past several years uh, in an effort to find a political solution to the ongoing crisis in Syria. This isn't just about um, trying to make peace in Syria. This is about Russia flexing its diplomatic muscle um, in the face of uh, continued efforts by the United States and Europe to isolate Russia. Uh, this means isolate both in terms of its you know, diplomatic relevance, but also economically. Uh, Vladimir Putin was able to flip the script during this trip to Tehran um, and helped uh, coordinate the, the signing of some $40 billion worth of joint energy exploration projects between Russia and, uh, and Iran. A slap in the face of the United States and those nations have sought to minimize uh, Russian economic growth uh, through economic sanctions. Iranian growth as well. Both Russia and Iran are the most heavily sanctioned nations on the face of the earth. I think... Uh, the Russian president has shown that uh, this is wishful thinking on the part of the West, that uh, Russia, Iran, China, and other nations are no longer playing that game. Uh, Vladimir Putin's visit came on the heels of a four-day visit by U.S. President Biden to Israel and Saudi Arabia, where the American president walked away uh, having gained virtually nothing by... Um, <laughs> meeting with a man, Mohammed bin Sultan, the crown prince of Saudi Arabia, whom uh, Biden had said he would never meet with. He would treat as a pariah. Biden has shown himself to be weak. Uh, Vladimir Putin has shown himself to be anything but weak.